Have you ever faced a frustrating issue while testing your Ruby on Rails application? If you've been trying to check for the presence of a class and it just isn't working, you're in the right place. Today, we're going to solve that problem together. I totally get it. It can be really annoying when your tests fail, especially when you think you've written everything correctly. You're not alone in this. Many developers have faced similar challenges. Here's the specific situation we're looking at. One user asked, how do I check for the presence of either the class Glyphicon Thumbs Down or Glyphicon Thumbs Up in my Rails app using RSpec and Capybara? If this sounds familiar, let's dive into the solution. So what's the issue here? The user tried to use a logical OR in their RSpec test, but it didn't work as expected. This is a common mistake, and understanding how to properly check for multiple classes is key to writing effective tests. And stick around. At the end of this video, I'll share a pro tip that will help you write better tests and avoid common pitfalls. To check for the presence of either class, the user should modify their test to use the correct syntax for RSpec and Capybara. Instead of using the logical OR operator, they should use the RSpec matcher have CSS with a block. The user can combine the checks into a single expectation using the OR method provided by RSpec. This allows for a cleaner and more readable test. Next, the user should run their test again to see if it passes. This will confirm that the page contains at least one of the specified classes. If the test passes, the user has successfully verified the presence of the class. If it fails, they should check the HTML structure to ensure the classes are being applied correctly. Fun fact. Did you know that RSpec was inspired by the behavior-driven development approach? It's designed to make testing more intuitive and readable. Now, let's look at the answers provided by other users. An alternative approach suggests using the RSpec or Matcher Combinator to check for the presence of either class. First, ensure you include a dot before the class names for proper CSS selection. The code would look like this. Expect page to have CSS, dot glyphicon thumbs down dot have css dot glyphicon thumbs up however be aware that this method waits for a specified time before checking the second class if you know the page is already loaded you can set the wait time to zero like this expect page to have css glypha thumbs down wait false or have css at glyphicon thumbs up wait false alternatively you can simply check for both classes at once using a comma Expect page to have CSS, Glyphicon thumbs down, Glyphicon thumbs up. Let's check out another perspective from a different user. An alternative solution provided by another user suggests using the option count in the expect method. They recommend checking for the presence of a specific class by specifying the count of occurrences you expect. That wraps up that answer. Let's move on to another one. An alternative solution suggests correcting the syntax error by adding parentheses around the expectations. However, this won't solve the issues since RSpec will stop if the first condition fails. Instead, they recommend using a Boolean variable to check for the presence of either class. This involves using the Capybara method has CSS to evaluate the selectors. Here's the pro tip I promised. Always remember to write your tests in a way that clearly defines what you're checking for. This not only helps you avoid errors, but also makes your code easier to understand. And there you have it. You should now be able to check for the presence of either class in your Rails app. Remember, writing clear and effective tests is crucial for your development process. If you found this video helpful, hit that subscribe button for more tips and tricks.